Greetings, my dear friends. It's your friend again, Professor Edin Dibuago, a professor of public health medicine and then the team lead for Community Positive Health Attitude Initiative. You know, the group of uh, people, public health physicians are uh, struggling to bring uh, good public health information, scientifically researched public health information that will enable you live longer, healthier and happier. You know, that is what we are here today. So today we are talking about physical, the benefits of physical activity and then the dangers of being physically inactive. You know, it's been shown that physical activity helps you to live longer, healthier and happier. And when we say physical activity, we don't mean you must go when they feel that run. If you can do that once in a while, it's good. But physical activity entails, you know, your everyday life, your lifestyle. You know, you must make deliberate effort to shy away from sedentary lifestyle. So many of us are by employment, you do sedentary job. But you find out that if you do that, the onus is on you to make efforts to compensate by putting more time in exercising. For instance, as recently as uh, October 2020, uh, to, uh, 2022, WHO recommends that they're still maintaining it, that you exercise, you know, average at least 150 to 300 minutes, moderate exercise, every week. Average, that is about 30, at least 30 minutes a day. And like I said, it doesn't mean you must jog and run. Within your compound, you can just walk around and time yourself. You know, walk, brisk walking, you know, is so important. Do you know so many research, they've shown that staying, not doing something, helps you to get cancer. You know, it helps you to get even mental problems, depression, and all those things. It helps you gain so much weight. And all these things eventually will lead to health challenges like hypertension, diabetes, obesity, you know. So my dear friend, you're encouraged to, you know, get up and do something. In fact, there was a research they did in 1953 among bus drivers and uh, conductors. Bus drivers sit and drive, you know. Conductors jump up, call passengers, jump down to get in and they found out that the problem of heart disease is a lot more among um, drivers when compared to conductors. So there are so many other researches they've done, you know, to show that if you move around, you, you, you live longer, you know, and you know, physical inactivity, you can deliberately prevent it, even in your workplace, by deliberately making some choices. Like if you come to a workplace where the, you have lifts, you can ignore the lift. Take a walk, even if it is two, three-story building. You do that on a daily basis, you'll be amazed at what you're doing to your heart, the benefits to your heart and to your health. You know? So you can do that. And uh, for instance, people who live in areas, you know, well-paved street where you have walkways, why don't you take a walk occasionally? If your workplace is closed, must you ride in a car? Mm -hmm. You just keep riding, you keep gaining weight, you keep getting sick. But if you occasionally take a walk, it's beautiful. You know, we're not saying, like I said, you must go out and run. So some of those little habits are so important, you know. So there are things you deliberately can do, you know, to stay physically fit and then live longer. You know, you can occasionally within your compound, you, there are th you can dance. Get if you're, you know, the older age group, you can occasionally get your grandchildren Get your children, put up a good music, have a dancing competition. You do that once in a week, you'll be amazed at what it will do to your health. So my dear friends, the whole message is that you need to get up. You need to prevent these diseases. You need to get up and be physically active, you know? So that is our message. And then, um, if you go to our website, www.cophai.com, we have, a, we have a blog where we write this information in details. But these videos are meant to be short so that you can get the key message 
and then it's not boring. Then if you go to our website, and you, you, you get all the information you need. Thank you so much. Try as much as you can to be physically active. It's good for your health. Research has shown it. And like I said, WHO is World Health Organization. They are looking after our health globally and they've recommended this a lot. You see, at least 150 to 300 minutes a week. You, can, you should exceed that. And, you, and for instance, like this sedentary lifestyle, if you're constantly in a workshop, you can. You know, like the person who, and that's why they say is a, um, you know, energizer. Once you're in a workshop and you sit for such a long time, then you can ask people to get up and walk around. You're doing so much to their health. You know, you're doing so much to prolong their life, to make them happy, and then to make them healthy. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Message from us, Community Positive Health Attitude Initiative. Try as much as you can to exercise. Instead of using a lift, you know, walk, climb up the step. Instead of riding a bike or something to your office if it's closed, walk. At lunchtime, you can get up, you know, from your office. Take a walk around your workplace. These little things, you will be amazed at how much you're doing to yourself positively. And it's our duty to let you know that these things are so beneficial. Thank you so much and may God bless you.